What's up guys? I'm coming through with another video and uh, I got a splitting headache but I'm going to get this done anyway because I got the energy to do it. I just got a bit of a headache and I got a lot of light in this video. You guys don't see it right here but I got a big light beside me here, a big light behind me and a lamp up there and a light behind me which I can't see but you get the point. There's a lot of light. I got a bit of a headache. This temple. You know, a lot of light. But anyway, let's get into this video. So, I was talking to a guy yesterday on a consultation. And it inspired me to do this video. So, what you don't want to do, guys, is let a narcissist turn your heart cold. You do not want to do this. You don't want to let anybody turn your heart cold. No person on this planet should have the power to turn your heart cold. You don't want this. This will affect every other relationship you get in in your life. Every single one. You have to have an opening for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Um, Most of the time, when we are with a narcissist person, and not knowing this, but we are with them at the time, because it, sometimes it, it is very hard to spot these people. And some of them are so manipulative that they can just reel you in. And it's happened to me. I, 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 I truly believe I got caught with one of the most dangerous people possible one of the most dangerous people possible. It's hard to deny, it's hard to deny something like that, what I've had. It's very hard to deny it. And I did it. I did it twice. And now I don't have it. So, and I'm not even gonna lie, it wasn't the easiest thing in the world to do. It was, it was difficult. But, a lot of narcissists they want to toy around with people that they can use and people they know that they can use. This is what they want to do. Like, they don't want to mess with people that know what's up. That's no fun for them. They don't want to mess with people that have this knowledge, that understands this and the game. Because the game is what the narcissist plays. Narcissist plays games. They're all about the games. But us empaths, we're serious. We take our life serious. We're serious about a lot because decisions we we know this to be true too about ourselves and our lives. The decisions we make in our twenties affect the rest of our lives. Narcissists like to play around in this time frame. They like to use people in this time frame and mess people up and take advantage. And these are the people that they target. They would love to mess around with people like us for as long as they possibly could, but they know that we know that we're not going to put up with this bullshit. They'll do, they might do something with us for like a short period of time, but they know over time we will not put up with it. Narcissists stay with people who will put up with the abuse. This is who they will stay with. And they'll torture this person the whole time. I know females who torture their boyfriends. I know females who get their boyfriends to end up hitting them. And they go around and brag about this to other people. That this guy hits her. This bitch ain't fooling nobody. Let's just say this. She does this. It's her own damn fault. Nobody should be surprised. Why these guys are hitting girls. I'm not surprised. I'm not saying it's right. It's not right to hit any girl. It's not. But I'm not surprised. I understand why. Is it something I would do? Absolutely not. 
I'd walk away. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even walk away. I'd end the fucking relationship and get the hell out of there. Because she's a demon in hell is what she is. Causes drama. Tries to control her boyfriend. By doing the craziest shit you can think about. Right? This is what they do. And I mean the craziest shit. Make her boyfriend jealous. Over things. To make him simp. Even more. To suck up to her. Because he might, he might, now he's living in fear. Because he thinks that she's going to leave him for somebody else. If he doesn't do what she wants him to do. He is now a slave to her. You see what they do? They trick you. They trap you. They manipulate you. They use you. They do everything they can in their power to affect you. You cannot be comfortable. You cannot relax. You cannot have peace in your life. If you have a narcissist in your life on a regular day basis, you can have peace in your life if you have limited contact with these people because at the end of the day they are still a human being. You just don't want them to get close. That's the only thing. They cannot get close to you. They cannot be a big part of your life. You have to, if anything, if anything, talk to them from a distance and keep the conversations short and sweet. If this is your girlfriend or boyfriend, if this is your spouse, you are in a world of shit. Trust and believe this. Narcissists just love to get with the people that they know will put up with this shit. They're not going to stay with somebody that they know will not put up with this shit. That's not what they do. This is why I got discarded six or seven times in the span of like three or four years by the same person. Because this person knew I would not put up with their bullshit. So they left at certain times so they could probably go to somebody else right quick and do some dirty shit to this person. And then come back to me when they feel convenient to act right for a little bit. But they even know themselves. I'm not the type of guy to put up with that shit. And honestly, I didn't, I didn't go through too much with narcissists like as ex-girlfriends because in a sense where I'm in the relationship and they're abusing me while I'm in the relationship, the abuse happened by them doing what they did to end the relationship, to gaslight me, to ghost me out of nowhere. This was the abuse that they did to me. And then to take me back and to do it all over again, get me sucked back in, get me attached, all happy moments, and then all of a sudden, boom, gone again. And you know why? Because they know they have to act right when they're in my life. They have to be a good girl. They have to behave. When they don't want to do this, they leave. They go to somebody else or nobody else. But even when I'm saying nobody else, there's somebody else in the picture. No doubt about it. They might not be official, but they could have multiple sources of supply. And they're being a bad little bitch. It's what they're doing. It's what they do. And they know, like I said, when they're with you, they can't do this because they know you will break up with them. And you know what? They don't want to take the they don't want to run the risk of this. Because they can't even handle a breakup. They they can't handle that. Their egos can't handle that. They can't handle the thought of you being better than them. And you breaking up with them. This is why they discard you. 
when you really start to figure these people out, your life gets a whole, your life gets a hell of a lot better. And that's why a lot of people gravitate towards this channel. I know for a fact that I know what I'm talking about. I've had so much experience with this bullshit. I caught them red handed. Nothing, they, they can, their, their games are fucking figured out like a math equation. It's like six plus six to me. It equals 12. It's like two plus two. It equals four. Three plus three. It equals six. There's more than one math equation with a narcissist. That's what I'm saying. Once you figure out all these numbers, they have all these little tricks that they do. I have them figured out. I'm passing on the knowledge to you guys. And it's a never ending thing. Because they have a bag of tricks. There's a lot of different scenarios and there's a lot of different ways they can get you. That's why there's so much to this. There's so many different topics to talk about on this. There's so many scenarios. Just like it's a never ending thing with math equations. Numbers don't stop. It does not stop with the narcissist. They will find a way. That's why we figure out a way to trick them. We're gonna we're gonna beat the narcissists at their own game. And that's another topic I'll talk about on a full subject. But this is it guys. This is it. This is the game. This is how they play. We gotta play them back. Even better, don't play at them at all. Cause that's what I do. But sometimes <clears throat> sometimes we have no choice but to be in their life because I know there's some of you guys that watch this channel that you guys have one of these demons in hell in your life right now and you have to deal with it at this current time so that's why I'm saying if you have to play them back because I started to do this I started to play them back even if somebody new comes into my life and I'm sensing these red flags and I'm seeing all this shit that they're doing. I immediately play them back. I don't even let them know that I know. They think they're being smart. I'm eight steps ahead. This is how this is how we gotta play with them. This is what we gotta do with them if we deal with them. But I really don't. It's just, if it happens, it's going to happen again. I'm going to do the right thing. You guys got to do the right thing, right? <clears throat> and that's pretty much it for this video topic, guys. I feel I'm missing something right quick, but I think that's about it. If I am, I'll add it to the next video at the beginning so I hope you guys enjoyed this one I got another video on the come up probably gonna do back-to-back -back videos right after this one take a food break get a drink of water do another video this is what I do this is what we do we're here to get better we're here to improve we're here to expose all the filthy animals, the spineless cowards, and the narcissist. Until next time, I'm out. <laughs>